All right. Welcome back, HVAC professionals. Uh, we're happy to have you back with us on our podcast. I'm Madison, and back with us again is Amberlynn. Hi. This time, we're going to be talking about search marketing. Now, you may not be familiar with this term, but it's one that's been in the industry for a couple of years now. Search marketing refers to basically everything that you will see on a results page of Google search. That includes ads or the PPC, as well as the local search results. And then finally, the organic results that are in the middle of the page all the way down towards the bottom. This is going to cover all of those results. And we're also going to touch on why you need search marketing to succeed online. Um, Amberlynn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hear it all the time. Uh, why do I need SEO? Why do I need search marketing? And uh, I think one of the easiest ways uh, to answer that is to say, well, okay, why do you need a website? Uh, so like, how, what do you think a, a typical HVAC um, professional would say if uh, you asked them why they needed a website? Uh, they probably said they needed it for marketing to get their branding out there and to let people find their business in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they might even, might even go even more basic and just say, well, I just need it for business. Ah, that's a good one. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I, you need a website, of course. You know, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's kind of funny. I don't think people quite understand sometimes how websites work. Um, and one of the easiest ways to explain that is an even more rhetorical question. Oh. Amberlynn, why do you need a phone number? So people can contact me. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's, that's pretty good. You want people to call you, right? <laughs> exactly. If you have a phone number for your business, you want people to call you. But uh, let's say you go to AT&T or Verizon and uh, you set up a phone number for your business. Uh, does that mean that people can automatically call you? Mm -hmm. They're just like, I <laughs> sense that there's a new phone number for that HVAC business down the street. And uh, no, 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 it's, it's ridiculous. Just because you have a phone number doesn't mean people know to call you. Or how to call you yeah. or where you are. You have to spread that number around, obviously. You have to let people know. You have to market it to people. You have to say, hey, this is our business. This is our phone number. And it's the same way with a website. Just because you have a web address and a basic website up, that doesn't mean that people automatically know where to find your business online. In fact, uh, nobody knows where you are. Not even Google knows where you are for the first couple of months. And that's saying something. Yeah, for real. And that's where search marketing comes into play. It's all about connecting people with your website from Google search results. So part of search marketing is the SERP. Now, Madison, could you define SERP for our HVAC contractors? So um, we talked about it uh, a moment ago. There's three main things that you're going to see on a page uh, whenever you Google a, a keyword. Now the results, the page of results that you get is called the SERP. That's the search engine results page. Mm -hmm. And everything that we're targeting today, you'll find on that page. Now initially when you first search like HVAC contractors, Linux, anything like that. You might see a couple search at the top or search results at the top that will have a little green button that says add. And those are your paid results, your PPC, pay per click, as we discussed last video. Um, those will be little text based ads within the search network of Google Ads that you can create to highlight specific pages or services that you would like people to take a look at. Mm -hmm. um, for example, if you really want to do heating replacement, for heaters, um, you could say, this is my heating replacement page, have a little call to action, and those will pop up right at the top, mostly keyword based as well. And um, it depends on your keyword, how much it will cost, but it does provide a big source of actual jobs and traffic to your website. Oh yeah, um, many, many HVAC contractors like to focus on targeting their high dollar uh, services. So original installations, 
for instance, or commercial jobs, those are going to be very expensive on PPC. But again, not as many people clicking on those, so there's a potentially very high payoff at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we have our map placement or the map pack. It's going to be three results normally is where it lies at. Yeah, typically nowadays they might throw in a fourth one at the top that's an ad. Mm -hmm. You can actually pay for those. Um, but generally you'll see three organic or unpaid results uh, on your local listing. Now, the local map pack is a very prestigious and important place to get your business ranked. Right. Um, the traffic potential in Berlin is just, it, it's enormous. Uh, even just landing on one of those top positions, uh, you get a tremendous volume of people going to your website from there. Now to optimize for a local search listing, your two most important elements are going to be your Google My Business account. Yes, for sure. Yes, and then of course your website. Now, Google My Business account, why don't you describe that? Google My Business account, when you're looking at the search results page, if you've noticed that little bar on the side that will say a specific business's name and all of their information, that's your Google My Business information, it's your knowledge bar. And that is something that you're going to want to fill out for your business if you have a business address. It's pretty simple, just phone number, website, some location optimization there. So for example, um, HVAC contractor in Fort Worth. And you're just letting Google know, hey, my business is here, we exist. And just that simple information gives them a little bit more on you to build that trust and authority so that they can rank your website a little bit. Yeah, and again, probably one of your few marketing assets that are truly free. For sure. Uh, that Google My Business account is essential for local listings. Just takes a little bit of time, that's all. Yeah. Now your website is going to take a little bit more effort on your behalf or your marketing company, whoever you have making it for you. The optimization process for that is going to involve both keywords and some schema coding as well. Now. Honestly, I can't talk schema coding, so we'll just talk about the keyword stuff. Keywords, you can optimize with your city state tails on them. Those are those long tail keywords that we talked about the other day. Right. Uh, if you add, let's say to your Linux page, you can say uh, Linux AC repair in Fort Worth, Texas, or Chattanooga, Tennessee. <laughs> you know, wherever you live, you can add your city state edition a couple of times throughout your service page, each service page preferably, and that gives Google a very good identification for where you are located, mm -hmm. in addition to your GMB, of course. Now that leads into our traditional organic search listings. Right. Yes. Now that, again, is heavily influenced by your websites. Your keywords are going to impact that almost pretty much more than anything else. Yep. Um, in your repertoire. For yeah. sure. And it has to have that solid content with the keywords to make sure that Google reads the page and says, okay, we can rank this here. Of course, we want page one for a ranking, but we start wherever we start and we build up to page one. Organic is going to be the thing that mostly makes sure that content is solid and can help you rank your website. Oh, yeah. So uh, let's summarize here. Basically, search marketing, one of the most important aspects of it is making sure that your website is actually found. If people can't find you, they can't choose you. And so search marketing allows you that visibility that's so crucial on page one, let's just say page one search results. If you have a really good team doing it for you and you've optimized each of those different places, there are multiple places that you can find your business listed on a search page. Now, again, they have to choose your business once they find your website. And that is something that search marketing can assist with as well. So let's, let's start back up at the top again at those PPC ads and see what we can do to increase those conversion rates. Right, now with PPC ads, People aren't really, it's gonna be more of an eye-catching thing. It's gotta be something that stops them from going further down the page. And what does that a lot of the time is having a bargain or a sort of mm -hmm. offer you're running at the time. Bargain hunting. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. So that customer that says, 
free inspection. Ooh, I want that. You want to make an ad specifically catered to them. They're not going to go ahead and read more in depth than that to start. Mm -hmm. So once you have that or like $100 off this service, that's when you're going to capture that customer with those PPC ads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say. Sorry, I was going to interrupt. Go ahead. <laughs> it can be a little bit... Um, a little bit more than that, but you really want to focus on a service for a bargain for them and something that's going to re really get them to give you a call. Mm -hmm. um, now, further on down the page with map placements. Yes. So with local search, you have a little bit more time than you would with PPC. Mm -hmm. um, those ads, large portion of people are skipping past them automatically anyway. And so they have to basically be bargain hunting or in incredible experience to actually grab people's attention. However, people trust organic results a little bit more because they know that they haven't been paid for. Um, since people are more suspicious of advertising these days, those results are a breath of fresh air for many people. Plus, it connects them with people who are close to their residences or their business. And for an HVAC company, again, if you can nail those top results, that's an incredible place to be for traffic. If you want people to choose you, you'll need to let them know, one, where you're located through your website and through your GMB. Also, you'll want to stress timeliness elements um, for emergencies uh, and emergency um, AC, for instance. We have a lot of those calls around here, um, especially during the summer. Oh yeah, Texas. summer Texas is, yes. or Texas summers are awful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't really go without AC more than, you know, a few hours for some people. And if you have an elderly person in that case, it can mean life or death. So if you can secure that local position and stress elements of timely service, courteous service, those are the things that can help influence people to choose your business. Of course, one of the most important things is reviews. Right. Reviews play a huge role in people's selection of your business. They actually do take the time to check more than just the stars. They'll review, like, what was this customer's experience? Why did they give them such high a review? Why did they give them such a low review? And that plays a really pivotal role in a customer saying, oh, okay, I'll call this guy. Or, oh, I don't really want to call this guy. It doesn't sound great. Mm -hmm. um, now, with our righteous reviews, that also applies to your website as well, which is more organic. Um, but you really want to take the time to manage those reviews that you receive on Google My Business as well as your website. Now, if you hear reviews need to be good and you think, oh, no, I have, I have some negative reviews in my case, it's, it's not a death sentence for your brand. Actually, I was doing a study the other day. We've been doing polls on consumers. And we found that a large portion of consumers actually prefer if the business that, that they're um, investigating has less than five stars. Now, three stars and below, people won't consider very much. But if you have between four stars and 4.9 stars on average, people actually trust that rating more than a five-star business in many cases. Right, because it makes you seem a little bit more real. Like you do have, five stars seems like you might have gotten just flat reviews. Maybe some, one person gave you a review and it was a five-star. It doesn't really sort of feel like a real company at that point. Now we could talk about reviews for days um, because they're such an important part of organic listings. But let's go ahead and move on oh, down, <laughs> down the line to our general organic listings. Mm -hmm. Those people are probably going to take a little bit more time right. to examine. However, you still need to be on first page most of the times, or people won't even look at your listing. If you want to influence people and improve conversion rates, most of the time organic listings come down to quality of content. As well, and that's such that's such a huge element. That's something that you can't skip these days. Not at all. You need to have very well written content. You need to have your keywords interlaced within it, as well as those mm -hmm. long tails that we've discussed previously, just to give a location and actually provide information to that customer that's going to take the time to read it. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you're wondering what quality content is, you need to put yourself in the shoes of a potential customer of your service. They are probably dealing with either an upcoming installation or replacement, mm -hmm. or they're dealing with an emergency. And those are things that you, as a professional, you have experience with talking with, and you know how to address those concerns and those needs. However, so many businesses focus on just selling their services and saying, oh, we're great, we're great, we're great. <laughs> um, I actually, I read a statistic uh, the other day, and I had to look it back up again because it was such an amazing thought. Um, 65, well, let's, let's say this. People tend to have a very high per, um, high perception of their of their own abilities or their own services. Right. Um, talk to any HVAC business and they'll say, "Okay, we're great. We're we're one of the best in our field." But sixty five percent of Americans think that they're smarter than the average person, and really, that's not always the case. And if thousands of people think that they're the best uh, HVAC service out there, there's still only 10 services max that make it to organic listings. So it's not enough to just believe you're the best. You have to show that you're the best with your content. Yeah. So again, once people find you, your search marketing is an essential aspect of getting people to choose you as well. And that's why it's so important to invest in it. Now we've we've talked about search marketing for a while now. Right. So uh, let's see. What would you say, Amberlynn, hmm. is the most important takeaway that an HVAC professional can have? For search marketing, it's hmm, most important takeaway I would say is going to be that that little bit of time that you spend Finding a good digital marketing agency like HVAC Webmasters to help you with your website, the little bit of time you take to fill out that Google My Business information, that's going to be the biggest payoff for you, as well as taking into mind your customer's perspective when you do your ads and setting up your business information. Mm -hmm. What would you say, Madison? Uh, I would take it back to the telephone metaphor. Oh, good one. <laughs> Just because, I know I like my metaphors, you do. just because you have a telephone, just because you have a website, doesn't mean that people know where it is. That is why you have to market it. You have to actually show people where to find your services. You have to take the time to do each of these activities or find somebody to do it for you. That's part of business. Marketing is part of business. And if you can nail those elements and go above and beyond what everybody else is doing, you can land those page one results and mm -hmm. all the amazing traffic and lead generation that goes along with it. For sure. And that's really what marketing is all about. So I think, uh, I think that's going to end this for today. Thanks for listening in again, and uh, we'll see you next time.